Hey guys and welcome to Nickrit. Today we're going to go over how to make our most downloaded pattern called the Hurricane Boot Cuff. It's an awesome little pattern which is super easy to go and finish. It's based off of the Hurricane Hat and I believe she also made a variation of it called the Hurricane Cowl. When I saw that I was like I need to make a matching pair of boot cuffs because I have so many boot cuff patterns and they're really popular and they're a big thing now and I wear them all the time being that I'm in Maine and we have all the snow. It's nice to keep the snow out of our nice little beans. We want to keep our snow out of our boots. Alright, let's get started. For this project you will need size 6 9 inch circular knitting needles. I am using these but you could very easily use some double pointed needles. I am just really liking these circular needles and I like working in the round a lot more. I'm going to link down in the description below where I bought these on Amazon so if you would like to use the very same ones you can do that down below in the description. You will need worsted weight acrylic or wool, it doesn't really matter, just worsted weight yarn. Today we are using Karen's Simply Soft in the Charcoal Heather colorway. I would suggest that you not use a colorway that has many colors going on in it because it will dilute the pattern of the nice little spiral circling pearl stitch. Alright, let's get started. For this project you're going to want to cast on. For a size small, you're going to cast on 52. For a medium, you're going to cast on 60 and for a large you're going to cast on 72. Basically that adds about two inches for each size so yeah and we're doing it in increments of four so we can do some ribbing. So here we're going to do some two by two ribbing, two knits, two purls all the way around for about 1.5 inches. That took me about 10 rounds to get that done and when you're done on the very last stitch, you're going to decrease. So you're going to take your last little tiny pearls and you're going to turn them into one. And that will get you down to 51 stitches, which will help you do the repetition of the going around. That'll take away the one that you need in order to go around and skip each stitch every single time. So I'll show you how to do that when we get there. But for right now, we're just knit two, purl two for 1.5 inches on the very last stitch, you're going to decrease. And I'll see you there. So now that we've done our ribbing, we're going to decrease our very first two stitches here. By putting those two together, I just simply knit two together. That acts as our very first knit. And now we're going to knit nine and purl on our very tenth stitch. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And notice that this will fall on a pearl ridge, but it will not always fall on a pearl ridge. So now we're just going to keep doing that all the way around and I'll show you what to do when we get back to our start. What should happen is it should just line up so that in the next time you go around, this one when you get to your pearl ridge, you'll pearl the one after that, but it should automatically fall into place when you're doing that. So you'll keep going around knitting nine and purling on the tenth one there and because you decreased that one piece there, it'll now get you to go around in the loop so that you just purl right there. It won't be this one, but it'll be the one that's above this one right here. So that's basically all there is to it and you're going to keep doing that all the way around until you get 4.5 inches and then we're going to increase one stitch on our very last row and we're going to rib again and then cast off. This is a very simple, easy pattern that really anybody can do. It's a very nice starter pattern to show you the differences between knitting and purling. And so we're just gonna keep knitting nine and purling on the 10th one all the way around and it should keep shifting so that it goes to the next one after that and it will not just keep going up and up and up. So I'll show you when we get there. So now we've gone all the way around again and now we're back to the point where we just purled that one ridge. This is now, I've only knit, I've only knit eight into it. So this is now my ninth stitch. So I'm going to now knit over that and then I'm going to purl right after it. And that's what keeps this going around and around and around. So now I'll knit nine and my ninth will end right above this purl ridge. And you're just going to keep doing that, making sure that your purl ridges are going to the one afterwards. So the one right above this stitch will be your next purl ridge. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way around for 4.5 inches. And I'll show you what to do on the last row of your working work, on the last row of your knitting work. So, and basically all you want to do is increase on that last row to make it so that you can get a nice even ridge for your ribbing to cast off. So I'll show you how to do that 
once you've done 4.5 inches, or really however long you want to do this repetition for. I've seen some people do this for like 12 inches because they want it to touch their ankles. I personally just like how they look stylistically, so I will make them really short and have it tucked right into the very top of my boot. That's just what I prefer. So just keep knitting nine and purling after each purl ridge, and I'll see you when we need to do our increasing rounds on our very last repetition. See you there. And once you've done your increase and you've finished off on your last purl ridge, and you have reached back to where you were going at the beginning, you can now rib for 10 rows or 1.5 inches. It took me 10 rounds to do 1.5 inches. And then you use a loose bind off method, which makes it so that it's nice and stretchy material. And then you're all done. The hard part is getting it so that it's all set up so that you can get this pearl ridge just continuously going around and around and you don't have to think about it. So that's all there is to it, to this lovely hurricane pattern. Alright, if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe. It really does help out our channel. If you love boot cuffs and you actually want to look more into different kind of patterns for boot cuffs, we do have an ebook called Off the Cuff, which is an awesome little ebook with 25 patterns. Hurricane is actually in there, but this was a free pattern on Ravelry. You can find a printable version of this pattern right down in the description, as well as our ebook for Off the Cuff. Alright, until next time, guys.